YouTube is the one and only Marie. Hey, boys, today we're acting to Young Dunn, the South Guard, getting suspended in high school. Well, hey, did you guys ever get suspended in high school? Put in the comments down below. And why did you get suspended? As a result, we were warned that anybody who caught a suspension, even once, for any reason at all, was not going to be allowed to walk the stage during graduation. And I know Pablo Escobar got shot or whatever, but that actually sounds way better than having to tell your Jamaican mother that you can't participate in graduation. I mean, death by firing squad sounds way more pleasant if you ask me. Are you 12 now or something? I don't know what to do. I thought you said you were going to learn to make beats. You, you bought the keyboard. What happened to that? Yeah, but it's hard, man. And it's expensive. All the software you got to buy is expensive. And then the, the beat packs and the sounds. I, I ain't got to kind of bread, nigga. Hmm. You ever think about starting a YouTube channel? I mean, yeah, but isn't all that video editing shit expensive and complicated? Bro, you ain't hear about Filmora 9? It's free to try, and if you like it, it's only like 3 $4 a month. All the other video apps cost like $20, but this shit, this shit is damn near free, nigga. Damn, is it any good? Bro, that's why I used to edit this whole video. Only took like 10 minutes to figure out. All right, come, let me show you. If you're new to video editing, Filmora 9 is the best software for you. Do everything from split screens to recording your screen, editing your clips using green screens and advanced color correction. The color correction, that's my favorite part. They got a ton of preset effects and you can go to their online stock library, Filmstock, to download high quality audio, images, footage, and after effects. Use my download link in the description and try it free today. Yeah, I got it, I'm back and shot you really with it. So I almost didn't graduate high school in Jamaica because the Dean of Discipline of my school caught me selling candy during morning devotion. Now I know most of you watching live in America, so a morning devotion, Dean of Discipline, these might be unfamiliar terms to you. Now for the uninitiated, grew up in Jamaica, graduated Jamaican high school at 16, moved to America, did junior and senior year in Florida, and then graduated American high school. But this this story is in the Jamaican high school, so, so stick with me here. There are a lot of differences between high school in Jamaica and high school in America. Public high school in Jamaica, everybody wears uniform. In America, you pretty much wear whatever you want. Jamaican public school, we start the day off with morning devotion, where we sing praises, clasp our hands, close our eyes, and pray to the good Lord Jesus Christ. In American high school, you make TikToks with your buddies, or whatever the fuck you niggas are. Doing in 2020. Oh, oh. that's right. Y'all niggas in Zoom class. <laughs> that's right. In American public school, all throughout the campus, you have these large magical boxes where for just a little bit of pocket change, you can get just about any snack or drink that your little heart desires. In Jamaica, it's a little different. When I was going to school, we didn't have vending machines on the campus. Instead, we have street vendors, people with carts that they fill with snacks and drinks and all kinds of shit, and they push it down the street, and that's that's where you go when you want to buy a snack. And in a lot of ways, it's better than a vending machine because you can't negotiate with a vending machine. If it costs a dollar twenty-five for the Doritos, you better have a dollar twenty-five. For the street vendors, shit, they'll take a dollar fifteen. Anyway, what this means is that the only time you can get any food, snacks, candy, drinks during school in Jamaica was during your forty-five minute lunch period. Because street 45? vendors, shoot, sure must be nice, man. Pushing their carts down high school hallways during class time would be ridiculous. Which means, if you didn't bring snacks to school, or you didn't stock up during lunchtime, during the rest of school, you pretty much have no way to get any food. Especially snacks, and especially candy. This created what I like to call 
a snack vacuum. Where other kids saw an oppressive school rule that prevented you from getting candy during class time, I saw a business opportunity. And to be fair, I didn't come up with the idea. I saw this other kid selling Jolly Ranchers out of his backpack to my classmates, and immediately I was like, yo, that's a lot of money. I could be doing that. So I went up to the kid, and I asked him where does he get the candy. He told me that he buys it in bulk at a wholesale. Instantly, I remembered that my cousin that I grew up with, was like a big sister to me, was married to a Chinese guy who owned a wholesale downtown. So I went home, told my mom about the business idea, and of course, she was very supportive. My mom has always supported anything I wanted to do, so long as it didn't get in the way of school. So she called my cousin, who spoke to her husband, who then basically was giving me the candy for the price that he was getting. Meaning, I was getting my candy for a less than wholesale price. Do you get that? Let me let me break this shit down to you. Okay, so let's say you're going to gas station, right? You look Damn. <laughs> that gas price. You oh. know what I want to Down by the bro. Bro, we had this $200 for a full tank of gas. I'm not lying. Register, what do you see? A big box of Snickers bars, a dollar each. And let's say the box holds 20 Snickers bars. If you wanted to buy all 20 Snickers bars, you would have to pay $20. Well, if you were to go to a wholesale store, you could just buy the big box unopened for $10. So now you're paying 50 cents per Snickers bar. And that's because the guy who owns the wholesale store is buying these boxes by the crate load directly from Snickers. So he's getting them for like five, 10 cents per Snickers bar. That's the price I was paying because the guy who owned the wholesale store was making babies with my cousin, who again, is like a big sister to me. It's not what you know, it's who you know. After one day of selling candy, I made about my initial $20 investment plus profit. By the end of the week, I had two other dudes selling candy for me. I was making so much money that I stopped asking my mom for lunch money. Of course, she would still give it to me, but that just went right back into the business, of course. And I was never a tough guy back in school, but some about having other dudes who grew up in the hood report back to you at the end of the day with money in their hand, it just gives you a certain Pablo Escobar-esque type feeling, you know? Now, the truth is, these niggas were... Man, I ain't gonna tell you I used to sell... Oh. I used to sell Gatorade. Yeah, I used to sell Gatorade. I used to sell. Oh, we used to sell Gatorade chips. Can't, bro. I got caught. Did I sell every year? No, I sell freshman. Did I? Sell... Oh, I did sell freshman. Mm. I do not know. No, I think it was tenth grade. Yeah, I sold tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, and I got caught. Tenth grade. In mm. twelfth grade year. Because when somebody get caught, they rat out everybody. <laughs> no, like dead ass. Stealing from me constantly. They stole candy, they stole money, but because the profit margins were so high, it was worth the loss. I was still making money hand over fist. Now, of course, a guy like Pablo Escobar would disagree with that based on principle. You know, he'd cut their legs off and throw them in a river. But me, uh, mm, Christian boy, I go to church on Sundays, and I just wanted some new shoes, an Xbox, you know, some cool clothes. That's all I really wanted. So if that meant having to so take a loss here and there, well, that, that was okay with me. Now, if you were paying attention during the beginning of the video, it wouldn't take a rocket scientist to realize that this was probably against the rules, right? Actually, this was so against the rules that if you were caught selling candy to other students, you'd get suspended. I three never, suspensions like, and you're expelled, that? but... Like, what is wrong with selling candy? Mm. And chips, like... Kids are trying to make money, bro. It's probably like a drug type thing, you know. I wasn't worried about getting expelled. What I was worried about was not graduating. You see, my senior year of high school in Jamaica was on record the most disobedient, disrespectful, unruly graduating class 
to have ever come out of art in high school, at least according to the dean of discipline, the music teacher, the principal, and everybody else who we were supposed to be listening to. As a result, we were warned that anybody who caught a suspension, even once, for any reason at all, was not going to be allowed to walk the stage during graduation. And I know Pablo Escobar got shot or whatever, but that actually sounds way better than having to tell your Jamaican mother that you can't participate in graduation. I mean, death by firing squad sounds way more pleasant if you ask me. So one morning, during morning devotion, I was chilling at my desk when one of my homies and classmates, Peter, looked over to me and gave me that look. It was that, hey, got any candy look? And of course, by now, everybody knew. I was the plug. And my gut told me that it was too early to start selling, you know? I mean, if for no other reason than the fact that it's the Lord's time. I mean, we're supposed to be praying to God right now. Here I am slinging illegal candy under his nose. So Peter comes over to my desk, hands me like, I don't know, 25 cents, which probably back then got you about mm, a few Jolly Ranchers, you know? Just enough to hold you over to lunchtime. I discreetly pass Peter the candy and as I'm pulling away my hand, I look up, and who do I see staring me in the soul? Hey, the dude of discipline. Instantly, my heart drops. I put my hands in my pocket, and I look down at my desk, and I'm just hoping that he did not realize what just occurred. Well, he was not a fool. All I hear is, Mr. Hines, to the front of the classroom, please. Fuck. I start walking to the front. Whoa, whoa, Mr. Hines, don't forget your bug. Bring that to him. As a matter of oh. fact, here, give it to me. I'll keep it safe. And we walk to his office. And we get to his office. He sits me down, opens the bag, sees Brother, the key. Brother, I used to really be me. They'd be like, open your backpack. No, I used to say, you need a warrant. I, I used to say that shit. Like, no, you need a warrant. And then I'll come with mama. And then my mom was like, she don't have to show you her backpack if she don't want to. And they're like, well, she got to go home. Okay. Mr. Hines, are you aware of the consequences of being caught soliciting candy during school hours? Yeah. So then you know you will not be walking the stage with the graduating class? Yeah. And you have nothing to say for yourself? When I don't show up to school next week, ask my mother where my body's buried. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Hines, you know, I thought you were much smarter than this. Wait. <laughs> I'm also aware that you're an okay student. You don't really get in trouble. So here's what I'm willing to do, Mr. Hines. I will allow you to walk the stage with your classmates. But you are still suspended. You must show up to school tomorrow wearing the black and white. And if you are caught soliciting candy again, I can guarantee that you will not be graduating this year. You understand me? Yes, sir. Good. All right, now go back to your class. Oh, one more thing, Mr. Hines. Thank you for the candy. You will not go to waste. And thus marks the end of my legal candy selling career. Taught me a lot. Had a lot of fun. Made me some money. I'm glad I got to graduate. But you know what? Even if I didn't, I'm glad I did what I did. Because no risks, no reward. And sometimes, the greatest reward is finding out hey, when you I have the balls that, all that stuff that to take the risk in the first place. What the hell did they do all that? They definitely yeah, did. that kind of sounded good. We gotta go, baby, we're wasting our time, trying to decide where we should go. Baby, just follow your mind, let's decide all that's all. Leave that right there, though, but, um, yeah, probably definitely ate it or gave it away. That's most likely. You probably eating the cheeks around. No, because one time I did have to give up my chips, and my mama, she came and got all of them, though. Yeah. And I counted it, too. Because <laughs> I would, no, I ain't playing none of that. Oh, shit, I never got caught. You gotta be slick with it, because... I was, only got, somebody. no, they, somebody snitched, because even DeMar got caught. I didn't get caught. Like, we didn't get caught, they just, you know, because remember that one time where everybody had Nike backpacks? <laughs> everybody had Nike backpacks, and they called yeah, everybody yeah. to the office one by one. I was like, and the thing is, I didn't even start selling that day. So, like, bro, and it's the morning. 
I didn't even start selling that day yet. I didn't sell nothing that day yet. And I'm just like, I was just like, are y'all for real? Like, somebody really snitched. Because when I went in there, it was people's stuff already was laid out on the table. I'm like, yeah, somebody snitched. Because how did everybody get caught? But yeah. Nobody was good. <laughs> yeah. This one you don't they, see no so candy. when he was in Jamaica, he graduated Jamaican high school, and then when he came to came out here to the states, he had to do out here. That's weird, but um, yeah, don't get caught selling. They stuff. probably made him because he was sixteen. But nah, because a lot of people graduated. I know because a lot of kids like graduated, Martin, but like Martin Luther King, he graduated high school. It'd be kids in colleges that's like 12, 13, 14 years old who already graduated high school and stuff. And I'm just like, that didn't make sense though. Like he graduated high school and they had to come out here and do high school. Yeah. But anyway, it's been your boy Jay. I'm the one and only Marie. If you got anything for us, you got to, please put in the comments down below. Make sure you like subscribe to the Post notifications, ding, 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 ding. And we out. Peace. Bye.